Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we will be taking a look at City State 2. So if you've seen or if you've seen my videos in the past, I played this one when it came out back in 2022, I believe, or 2021. Uh, it had a lot of issues here and there. It was developed by the City State developer, the original game. Uh, yeah, so I'll just take a look at what else I can do when playing this one. So for now, we will create a new nation. So what's unique about this game is you can have different cities in certain in your nation or your country. So if you take a look at the map preview here, this is the nation map. Each one is, uh, the nation is divided into smaller grids. And each one is a playable area, right? So each one is a city in its own. Um, so yeah, each geography type has three maps. So you basically have six geography types with three that's 18 playable maps. I'm not sure about the custom ones. I think this is just one map for the custom. So I'm thinking of playing it in... <clears throat> uh, Plains is the basic one. So I'm thinking just going for... You know what? Let's go for the planes. And then for the map, I'm thinking sorry, having one river across the entire country. So that one, this is that too easy. Oh, so this one is easy. Mm, we can probably start as easy or we can reduce our balance, right? We have housing demand here, currency value. So starting value for national currency. Higher value is helpful if the city runs out of cash and needs to print money. So basically in this game, as far as I remember, you can print money since it's your country. However, as you print your money, more money, your currency goes down. So it's it has some kind of political aspect to it. Let's see what's what else is new. We'll name this as we'll name our nation. Um mm, Ginhawa, umaginhawa, which means it's um what it's comfortable, right? <laughs> so let's go. Let's create our nation. Okay. Hopefully there are a bunch of things. We'll play with uh, the tutorial here. So nation view, welcome governor. Here you can switch from a city to another, from a city to another. So purchase lands and transfer cash from the regional fund to NEC. Any uh, before starting a city, don't forget to design your national flag. So before creating a city, we need we want to create our national flag. Now, I want to create maybe something big. Red here, or maybe you know what? Let's just put the entire red flag. Then maybe a sun the middle yeah just that <laughs> not much creativity but you can adjust the size maybe we can do this um, oh so adjustment of position I can't can I I can't put it on the right oh sorry so what we can do is remove this on there I don't like it so let's just put it on at the center and that's it. Okay, so that's the flag. Now we will establish our first city, which will be our capital. I want our capital to be situated. I don't think I want it on the river itself. Maybe just have some body of water. Hmm. Is this one good? I think I want... Hmm. Let me just check. Uh, maybe this one just because it has a small portion of it as water Maybe that one and we'll purchase the land Don't know why we're purchasing it since it's our country, but It will name our uh, First City Kalayaan so We will 
transfer 100,000. Okay. What's this? Share of income, electricity. We will transfer this. We currently have 60,000. I don't think we will need to transfer any from the seat from the national treasury so let's just start we will have 60,000 to start with uh, with this city if ever we need uh, more money we can get it from the national treasury so here we go getting started so WASD for controls so let's keep that so now we will establish our roads now we will take a look at the map it's quite large right so we have a beach here um and i want to create my roads here usually nations or cities start from a body of water so i'll do that now i'm thinking we don't have any previews here i i, I would like to have a bigger road let's say we want a big road established not on the water itself but maybe somewhere near the water i'm thinking something like this although this is very expensive so for example let's just have that so we have a four lane road here so this will in the future continue going down that road that route and then let's create some sort of road oops now i don't know if i can delete that that mistake uh, where is the delete button I just can't do that this one bulldozer okay so let's delete that part of the road then we will continue going to 100 okay that's the bare bones of the road right now I'm thinking of creating maybe something this oh no no yeah, yeah. something like that and maybe a bit more okay yes that's good now we have demands here okay so the demands are here we want to put residential areas so i'm thinking of putting residential areas maybe hmm. oops okay okay Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So let's put some residential areas here. Let's put four. Let's put another four. So these are medium sized ones. I'm thinking let's just put four here again for 128. Okay, oops. There. And I'm thinking of having smaller row homes. Maybe from here. Smaller density homes. Okay, so I think that's good enough for now. They want us to build 25, so one, two, three, four. This is more than enough, so these are 30 lots. Now we want power. Okay. So I'm thinking of before we do that, I'm thinking of creating a road. Maybe going down. This is a very cheap road. I'm thinking of creating something that will be powering our city, maybe far away from our residential area. So maybe somewhere here. Then we want our power. So they want our diesel generator maybe here, right? Then the, the water tower, it could be somewhere near. So let's just say that the water tower is somewhere here, okay? After that, we want commercial zones. So that's why I left some zones here. Although, yeah, we can put four maybe, and then four again here. So that I think that's good. We don't have that much our demand for retail zones. Okay. So I think should I play? Let's play at one speed. Now let's go for. Uh, the budget so here you can go you see the budget and you can adjust the taxes now the game wants us to reduce the tax to three dollar to three percent so that more businesses come in uh, okay so now we want our 
industrial buildings. So in order to build our industrial buildings, I'm thinking again of just creating some sort of uh, area here for industrial buildings. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe something like this. Then we'll put our industrial building over. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. We don't. Uh, we are currently at fifty-two thousand. Okay, so build new roads in new residential zones. Provide the necessary amount of commercial industrial lots, following values from the demand bars. Okay, so our country doesn't attract many migrants yet, so our city will grow slowly, especially if the unemployment rate is. Too high so our goal now is to reach 100 uh, 750 population we're currently at 161 so let's expand i'm thinking of expanding this um by maybe okay uh, maybe we can do this oops uh here All right not connected there then let's just expand this way for now. Okay, and then we can create more medium sized homes. This side, oops. Okay, then on this side, then smaller zones, smaller homes there. I don't know if that's enough, but let's do more here. And let's do more here oops there okay now they mentioned about the 25 percent i'm not sure where to check that yet um there are still unlocked options here but checking on this one economic freedom index high higher is unregulated free market economies so it's currently at 50 Civil rights approval is at 42%, stability 98%, and unemployment is at 10%. So it mentioned that if it gets higher than that, we'll have an issue and it's gone up. So I'm thinking we zone more factories here and then maybe a couple of smaller factories. Uh, on maybe this. And so that. Uh, maybe smaller factory on this side and then we might need more commercial buildings thinking just adding a couple there and maybe have some smaller uh in commercial buildings this side on in this side you know like your small a uh, local uh businesses okay so let's continue um along with our increase in population we also need to increase um spaces for them to work i'm thinking i'm not sure if i'm uh, expanding rapidly but i think this is just good for now okay then let's just continue the grid Side. and let's do some deviation instead of just going straight every time and I think it's good enough now what I want is we're here having unemployment issues so I'm thinking of adding Maybe more businesses here. Commercial businesses on this side. Then I want a bit more big housing here. And then smaller housing on this area. Ooh, it's allowing me to put houses on this space. Wait a minute. It needs to be perfectly, oh no, perfectly situated. So for now, I guess we won't have any use for this. Can't. 
into that so that's just an empty lot Okay, and then we don't have that much demand, so I'm guessing I need to maybe put a little bit more. Okay, so I think that's good for now. Then the game wants us to build a government building. These are government headquarters. So this is something that we can situate quite far. Maybe something along this area, right? This is a government building, so I'm thinking putting it a um, little bit away. Although it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look good since there is some terrain issues here. It's going up, but I quite like the design of the building. If you take a look at it on this side, it looks great actually. I like I actually like the graphics of this game uh, so yeah now we have a government building speeds up the growth and stability index uh, this indicator directly affects the inflation and approval rates and should ideally stay above 50 points so this should be should stay above 50 destroying slums new policies and new tax rates will lower this index if we're reaching zero tax rates and policies can no longer change Policies can change the way the economy operates. The attractivity of our country and how wealth is distributed among citizens, they are shared across all cities of the nation. But if you wish, you can leave politics aside for now and expand the city by, by other means. If, you, if so, just skip the next two steps. So pick a policy. So a policy of your choice, once opened, switch between all options and compare the data given I give greater attention to their cost and effect on the social ladder and effects on the economic sectors. Place your cursor over underlined text to get more specific explanations. So, how? Oh. Tissues jobs. <laughs> how can I take a look at our options? Um, if you're looking for the best option rather than aiming at a particular ideology, then at this point, it's usually better to pick the option with the best social ladder effect. In comparison to its cost, so it should be noted that the cost will increase within the city's with the city's population. Where do I check that? Oh, this one. Okay. So we have our government. A uh, healthcare. So for healthcare, what do we do? So this one option and private funded only. It doesn't have any boost it decreases civil rights but it adds plus two points on economic freedom compulsory minus one civil rights minus one social ladder if i choose this one it's possibly the better option like this one compulsory public private funded plan it's it boosts retail offices and advanced manufacturing it also gives more civil rights. Uh, it gives us a better birth rate and better health care. Although the cost is $15. I'm not sure if this is per month or per day, per hour. I'm not sure. So I think that's the best option. So we can enact that. Then for unemployment. No unemployment benefits. Um, that doesn't look good. I don't think I have the, any good option here. Civil rights might go down, which is not good, right? Um, so any um, unemployed people, I think this one is good. I, although I don't know how much it will actually cost. But we only have 7% employment, so do that. Entrepreneurship. Setup community, entering. I'm just looking at options here where we can get more. This one is an education boost. 
I'm thinking just choosing that one and then pensions I can have no uh, options here so I think I can leave that off for now and then what is this saying click on the layers button and move the cursor over education icon the color indicates the quality of education or system education system while the score refers to the current level of education even with the high quality system it will take time for the education level to advance okay so where is the education so this one so what does red mean so i think it's probably means it's low uh vision sense of security health education okay so the quality of our education system stands on multiple factors can i close this one so we want to build our first school so we want an elementary school so i'm thinking since this is a government office i think the best way to build a school we have slums already is maybe since this is an elementary school i think it won't it needs to be a little bit more central but i don't want it to be near a slum area i think here i think it's the best place since it's quite central but we have slums here which i don't like these are probably homeless or uh, unemployed people we are okay so wait our consumption exceeds production so affected businesses so we need to build more generators uh, i was able to build a diesel generator we can probably build another one these are quite costly i don't think i can and its capacity is lower Although the coal power plant sounds good, its monthly cost is 900. I don't think I can afford that. So let's just go for this one first. Right, let's just have two of that there. As opposed to schools, power plants don't need to be extended to increase their capacity. So to accommodate extended, what do you mean extended? Over that. Uh, so click on the diesel generator building to activate a second generator moving either to the right what we have that option <laughs> okay oh so now we have two okay so now we're producing a lot so our next uh goal is to reach 2000 population which we are currently close to um, our approval rating is going down. Uh, I guess it's not yet in the tutorial, but so let's just not focus on that first. I think it's we started around 40%, so this is still good. So excellent work. We are now about to unlock one of the most powerful legislative power. The Department of Immigration unlock, unlocks border policies. So again... Since our government building is here, I'm thinking of just putting it here. It's not allowing me. Oh, there are already slums <laughs> in this area. Uh, there are a bunch of informal settlers. So I don't like that that it's that they are settling here. What I'm gonna do is I'm creating a road here to put our bureau of immigrations here okay so let's let's i'm gonna read first so uh open the gates but not too much a large influx of immigrants could put a strain on the housing market and drive families to move into slums so that's what we have now right we have a lot of slums so when our education system and health system improve the city will attract wealthier immigrants for now set the border policy so at least with at least advanced nations to 80 percent border control least developed countries at 80 percent 
Okay. So let's talk religion. So a higher birth rate will also speed up the population growth, lower education levels, uh, lower incomes, and some policies will increase the birth rate. So, but religious buildings are the most direct option. Okay, so build the place of worship. I would want a church. So maybe we can build it here beside the elementary school, right? Okay. I think that's good. And now they are asking for us to upgrade the school. Okay. So before we move on to the last part of this tutorial, let's make our town bigger. In the meantime, you can select the census tool. Here. Okay. Uh, and move your cursor over a building to get to know your city better. So this tool is particularly useful and to identify the reason why a building is abandoned. I actually don't think we have abandoned buildings, but oh, our slums are gone, so that's good, right? Uh, they are not here anymore, so I think that's a good sign. We are also getting a lot of bigger houses over here, so and we're getting more demand, so I think that's good. Okay, land valid. Let's look. Um, let's look at where the city, maybe we can call this the city center, right? somewhere in this area so the office we have 86 employees here 84 employees here and value these are $16 tax income etc etc okay so before we move on the last part okay reach a population of 4,000 we're still far away from that so what I'm thinking is I'm planning to put more commercial spaces here just uh, so we have extra spaces there then let's put you know what let's build more roads build more here here then I'm thinking of I don't know if this is actually a good way uh, to do this but see if we can put more size houses here and here then let's delete this area so we can create more roads up to this okay so the one thing I didn't like about this game is this one it creates some issues with the roads when you delete them so yeah it's still not fixed but you can redo the road if you're having that kind of issue then let's put since this is you know a church and a school i think we would love to have some type of commercial buildings over here on this side so let's put maybe three then maybe a small two small business over here right we don't have that kind of demand <laughs> But I think that's good. Okay, so we need more water. Water pumping station. Oh, I don't think we would like to have uh, that big of expense. So I'm thinking we just put one over here. I think this also marks where our, our development should stop. Since this is a government space, we want our government space to be kind of secluded. Uh, not really that far but you know just to have some sort of uh, privacy on this area since this is the government area and we might be doing some shady stuff in the future okay so so far that's it we need more houses so we are looking into uh, building more homes um, we can do that up until this maybe a little more smaller homes right. okay so hopefully you can speed things up make sure that everything is building up oh there's a night night mode here okay so this this game has a day night cycle which is nice i mean it's, it looks pretty good right for it's it looks it, it looks like a modern city builder I don't think the buildings are very repetitive. 
So it's although there are repetitive buildings, as, as I say that I see at least a couple of buildings repeating. But yeah, I think so far so good. It looks it doesn't look bad. Um, only bad thing that I regret doing is that I'm not able to do anything on this area because everything needs to be to fit that four cells migrants are migrants are building slums our city cannot handle such a large population in flux oh my god it already got to 4700 versus zones will be built on low land value so we want now once this happens, I'm thinking of expanding a bit more on this area, right? It's not connecting. Okay, now it's connected. I'm thinking of building more homes here, right? Because more homes here means the land value is lower since it's near the factories. So uh, what I'm thinking of is putting people on this area so people can afford better. So this are this should be low value homes. Uh, low value homes in this area should be for the immigrants that we are getting. Um, we can also keep on building up to this side. Yeah, maybe this so this should be where people from the factories live people who work in the factory they should be living this side so this could be some kind of uh suburban low income area right <laughs> uh and then let's put some bigger buildings this this and this yes, in smaller cities like just just like ours the approval ratings do not matter much yet uh, but in approaching 10 and 20,000 inhabitants this rating begin to play a bigger role so to prevent the risk of riot as much as possible knowing your knowing how to satisfy your citizens is essential so since they have few priorities in common the approval differs from left-wing and right-wing citizens I don't know the difference between them so yeah the weight of each group depends on the citizens' political affiliations. So to take a look at that, you can look at stats. I don't like that I can't move this window. So this is what affects everything. So the policies affects 50% tax rates are high. So it also affects unemployment is at 22% here, but here it shows 16. Sorry about that. Uh, and yeah, so this is more of what the available policies are and how it affects our approval rating. So we don't want riots to have to be happening. That's why we need to keep a look on that one. That employment rate can have harm harmful effects on the economy. Too low and businesses will go bankrupt. Okay, so too low. Of unemployment is bad too high is also bad so I think time to go for a coal power plant I, I, it might be too big of an investment at this moment but now that we have more stuff that's happening I think a coal power plant oh no no no, no not yet not yet I forgot that I can turn on the second generator Okay, so I guess that should help for now. Low income households are struggling to find a place to live. So I think we should continue building around this area. So that low income people should ha could have a place to live. Just a little bit. Okay. So water shortages. Oh my god having so much uh, I don't think can I afford a water pumping station 
I don't want our water pumping stations to be near this area, but ooh, there are a lot of slums here, which I do not like. So maybe we can do some like this one. Okay, so the water pumping area is a little bit far from our residential area, but not too far. So the unemployment rate is harmful, etc. etc. So continue. Land value will play a critical role for a city's future. Okay, so I need this one since I need to create areas with low land values. So this is the high land value area. This is low. So I think I need to be building more areas for people to live in here to avoid having slums. There are a lot of slums here. So congested roads, where is the traffic one? So it looks good. I mean, I can see which lane is congested and which one is not. We can probably connect this road to this road so that some people can use this instead of going that way. To expand the city more rapidly, we can, we can increase the number of migrants coming in by building an airport. Do I want to build an airport? It only costs 6000 and it's big. So I think creating an airport will be uh, useful for our country. You know, just boost the country's growth and everything that we need. Although I can't... Can I remove this? Okay, I don't think removing those is a good idea, but I need the road. So I'm gonna need to extend my road. It's not allowing me to extend. Why though? Okay, we're having that issue again. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, that that's good enough then i'm planning to create the airport here okay so i want the airport to be located in this area near the end of this city so let's create some sort of road here i want a better road <laughs> there and then I want the airport to be hitting area no not good um create the road maybe a little bit further then we can put our airport here and the thing okay, that's too loud um thing you notice is when I destroy or I use the bulldozer it also destroys the trees and the grass as you can see here not like that but yeah, this is this looks like a very small airport oh we are having a fire here I don't know if we have the tools yet to uh, water public services we don't have hospital I'm gonna need to put this I need a firehouse near this area a police station near this area and a hospital near okay, that will definitely put a toll on our budget but we can increase the tax rate a little bit higher for a retails a retail then a little bit higher on the basic manufacturing uh, bankruptcy is looming yeah i know i know i know we can still get money from the national treasury but i definitely needed to build some of those items so we can extinguish the fire so it won't spread I guess for now we just put it at the lowest same as the hospital and the police station 
Okay. I guess that's good enough for now. Maybe that could uh, help alleviate the pain that we're experiencing. We are currently at negative 1000. So uh, we are having more demand on advanced manufacturing. So do I want high density? Maybe higher density maybe could bring us more money. And I also want farming. Maybe we can create some farms on this side. I'm thinking maybe we can create a small road going down and create farm. Not sure what the farm here looks like, but we want to create farm like this. <laughs> it looks alright. It doesn't look great, but I guess that will do. I don't know what that gives us, but. That could probably give us some a little bit of jobs. We want medium density maybe somewhere around here. And a little bit over up to this area. Okay, um I don't know if we can recover from the negative 1000 cash flow. But we can still get money. As I've said, we can still get money from uh we still get money from the national treasury our population is currently at six thousand uh we can stop pumping we can close this maybe close the other one just to reduce our expenses i don't know if i can see the statistics of where is that uh not this one the production where can I see the production uh, spending? Location, etc. I'm not seeing it here. But I guess... I don't know. I, I need to see that just because, you know, like the City Skylines um, option to adjust the budget with sliders. But yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I could uh, still increase this to 7%. Uh, but the demand here is lower because of that. 2%, I guess that's good. And we're having a lot of citizens. I'm thinking of increasing our tax rate. So yeah, I think we end the video right there for now. I mean, we create, we we had a great start. Uh, it's not perfect. We almost ran out of run out of money, but we I would say it's a pretty basic start. We established our main city area here. We have our government offices here. Most of the slums are gone, so that's good. We also provided. The services that we that are available so the fire station the police station and the hospital we also have our first airport on this side and a portion of road uh, here uh, so yeah and then we established our industrial area here with some homes nearby so this this should be homes for our low-income people so i guess that's it i mean we can probably continue this and build a larger city maybe have some uh high density buildings along this area or close to this area but we'll see in the future but for now we'll end the video there hopefully everything's good hope you like it um if you like it don't forget to leave a like a subscribe and please, please, please comment down below uh, if you have some negative or positive feedback. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Uh, if you have anything to say, uh, please comment down below. Okay? So, that's it everyone. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you in our next video. Thank you and take care. Goodbye.